is up, guys. Um, so we're making a Lego sniper rifle. Here's the basic scope and everything. Um, that's on fire. So I just made it like that, barely. Well, this is a mac the mechanism for the sniper. Um, so this is the boy. All it is is just a one by one and a one by one triangular. And I mean, I have different colors, but it's in this little clip thing. And it's tan, and then it's just like red and tan, basically. Um, well, that's, that's basically all I have right now, but I'm still trying to finish this as fast as I can, and it's making me mad quite a bit. Um, here's another round I was going to use, but... Just to show you what this does, the, it opens like that, and I mean it's not that big. I know it's not that one where you go boom, pull back, and clip, because that's that'll be a lot harder. I mean I could, but it's pretty hard. I just need little sliding pieces. Not sliding pieces. I'll show you. If I sound a little different, it's because I think I'm sick, I don't know, but that's what I would need. And what this does is it allows like a piece like this just slide through like so. Kind of like a credit card, I guess, just slides straight through. And if I Put it like that, so then it's just, yeah, I'll show you. So, like this. And I need that. Take that, and it just slides it straight through, and out the other end. That's what I was going to use at first to load the gun, was like, if I had it like this, and the other pieces, blah, 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 and then just load it like that, and whatever, but that didn't really work as well. And it's quite hard to actually make the pole black. So I just made it a one shot, where you just put the bullet in and close. Now to make that the um pole pull, pull back part you would actually have to take it like this, blah blah. And I wouldn't really need these pieces. I'd really just need this and this and well rubber bands. But I'd slide it on like that. Well, if it slides through, it should slide through, and it doesn't, which is weird. Because a lot of my pieces do slide through pretty nice. I guess that's just a bigger piece, or whatever. But it'll, it, it'll take time to make that, though. So, to see, here's the Mac the mechanism in action that's all it really is it's just a couple pieces it's not too big nor too little I guess I don't know 
but you can see we've got some elbows on it. It, it was quite hard to build because I had a couple ideas for it. Um, let's see, I can't record with whatever, I'll try. Let's see, hold on. I'll just, you know what? Okay, so, there's the bullet going to use. What is this doing? It's having like some kind of seizure. Yeah, I'll have to put it upside down. Um, well, it is having some kind of difficulty, which is kind of weird. Okay, so I try to go like so I'm going to have to build a little more onto it, as you're going to see. So I will take this, put it just right on the side, so you can see. Um, So there's that, and then hmm. we are having difficulties. Will that work? No. Well, I am officially done with... Th I am done with this project. I mean, not like over over, but like, just the gun. I'll, I'll trade to something else. I'll, I'll figure out what to make. And... Leave a comment of what would you what you would like me to build with my spare with my spare Legos and I will try to build that. I mean I've got some wheels, I got quite a bit of Legos. Um but leave a comment of what would what you would like me to build and I will do that and so that's about it I'll see you guys later and tell me what to build with all my spare Legos I've got that that and well I really liked these ones And like that. So I really liked it. These. I thought they were pretty fun to play around with. And then you got that. So tell me what to build, and I will do that, and I will get back with you later.